Scott from Skid Steer Genius and I've got some great news. After a couple of years of work, we have actually developed a control system and a harness system that enables you to run either of the Bobcat graders, the 84 inch or the 96108 on any machine. As you see, we're now using Kubotas. We kind of gave the Bobcat the boot a couple of years ago. We've had some problems with them. So now we're using nothing but Kubota machines and this is what we've come up with. We have on the right here, we have an 84 inch grader. If you just want to run the grader alone, all you need is a single harness from us that plugs straight into the controls, you can run the grader. If you run, want to run a laser pickup on there, like the BLR2s that we've got on this machine here, then what we want to do is we want to put a T-harness in there and then run it to your controls. Now, specifically on different machines, you may not have enough control buttons on your machine. So you want to check with us and see what's, see what's available. If you don't have enough buttons, if you don't have the ability to add something to your machine, you can add one, what we call our super controller. And we'll get into that next with the bigger grader. The bigger grader here, this is the 96 inch, but it's the same layout as the 108. What this unit uses to operate it is you have to have a super controller for the simple reason is you actually need eight buttons to, to control just the basic functions and then you need a ninth button that locks on and off to be able to turn the lasers on and off. So we'll get into that next and I'll just do a little walk around with you. Let's start first with the harness. What we've done here is we've bought just a basic Bobcat T harness. The T harness adds a 14 pin to it and actually enables you to connect right into the computer that's inside this attachment. So you'll actually be able to run the CAN bus controls through this, through the, uh, if you want to run the laser receivers using the Bobcat ones. So first thing we want to do is install this and I'll show you how we plug that in. But basically it goes in right under the module here, plugs straight into the main harness. And now I've got the seven pin so I can still run it on a Bobcat if I absolutely have to. And I can run it on other machines. If you look inside this though, there's approximately, there's 11 pins that are connected in here. So most machines, even like the new Caterpillars or whatever, they've got nine pins connected. So there's no possible way to be able to run all of these controls off of the, the main uh, button controls off those machines. So what we've installed here is a super controller and I'll get into that as well next. But now we've got this harness. This is a T harness plugged in here. Then we want to use a genius jumper harness. This is our GR harness. This has some specific electronics in it that enables you to operate the, um, the side shift. So what we do is just a straight inline harness. You're only going to use this when you run the grader. We just plug this in. Okay, we'll just wrap this up for, just for showing. We'll just have it up here when usually you just want to have a tie wrap on here to support it. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so on most of the machines, you're going to see these two plugs. This one will have a cap on it. If you don't see this, contact us. You may need another jumper harness that, that's, again, available from Bobcat. We found that some of them don't have this, and I'm not sure why. But if you have this and this plug, this is the plug that the standard 7-pin plugs into. We take our T harness. We've unplugged the other harness already. We plug one plug in here. We plug the other plug in here, and that's it. We're good to go. We're just going to talk about the controls that we've installed in this Kubota. The Kubota, this is an SBL95. 2016 model it only had two buttons it was only equipped with two buttons on the handles to be able to control an attachment you can't even do a snowblower with that so we came up with our own control pack that goes into these machines and it's called our super controller what it consists of is a little unit that mounts into the base of the stick here and it's got a joystick as well as a, a center button that we can lock on and off so we can turn attachments on and off so on the left hand side here, what I have is if I go up, it'll raise my left side of my blade up. If I go down, it lowers the blade down. If I shift it to the left, it'll angle the blade to the left. If I, if I shift it to the right, it'll angle it to the right. Now let's move over to the other side. On the right hand, I've got an identical joystick. This is my B side of my controller. My B side of my controller, if I raise it up, it'll raise the right side of the blade up. If I raise it, if I push it down, it'll lower the blade down. If I move it from left to right, it'll side shift it left or it'll side shift it right. And then both of these buttons have center buttons that I can lock on. So on, the, on the, my left side, if I push this button in and hold it for five seconds, it's going to turn my lasers on and off. And that's, that's just absolutely ideal. This is so much fun to run now when I'm operating this machine because I can do all of my controls with just these little joysticks. I'm just going to show you just how simple it is now to run this blade. So I'm now in my machine, I've got it operating. What I wanna do is turn on my auxiliary hydraulics. Okay, I just need low flow, I don't need anything fancy running here. Now I wanna turn on my flow, so it's locked on. 
Okay, now my flow is locked on. And now if I'm just gonna play with the blade a little bit, I'm just gonna touch it here. If I lower my thumb down, it goes down. Raise it up, it goes up. Move it to one side here. Then angles, move it to the other side. It angles the other way. And I can do multiple actions at the same time if I've got both my hands involved here. And now let's just have a look here. So I'm side shifting it. Side shifting it back. And again, if I want to raise and lower it, it's just that simple. Absolutely amazing. It's been a couple of years of work to do this. Tens of thousands of dollars, of course, because Bobcat never makes any of this stuff easy for us. But we pretty much have everything now working. So uh, check us out at uh, skidsteergenius.com. We pretty much have everything that you need to make this happen. for a few minutes here because there's still a lot of people out here that have these. This is also known as the palm style grater uh, because palm manufacturing was the originator of this, of this grater and then Bobcat bought it. Uh, this block that's on here is a simple control block. It's got six solenoids, three stacks of two. Well, one side controls the up down of the left side of the blade, one is the up down of the right side of the blade and the other is angle. Your side shift is mechanical so you actually have to undo these bolts here and slide the blade back and forth if you want to side shift it. So there's no electromechanical means of doing that. So this is really simple for just a straight harness. It's just one of our BPH 14-6 harnesses that goes in here. You just want to be careful that you look and make sure that it's either got the Delphi's or the Deutsch style. We've actually converted this one over to, uh, to, to the Deutsch because we supply them and they're a lot less expensive than using the Bobcat solenoids. Uh, but we still actually have the controller still hanging here. We have no use for this any longer. We've just run a straight harness, one of our BPH harnesses into this, and it works just that simple. If you want to run a laser on this, you will need the extra wire, uh, and that's to be able to control it, which means you will need to install a switch into your cab, or you'll need one of our super controllers so that you can turn the thing on and off. Uh, but then you would also use one of our seven conductor or our, ten, our special 10 conductor uh, harnesses that actually is made for the for this style of grader. Otherwise you can use just the standard one if you don't care about the lasers. And that's pretty much it. This is a, a pretty simple attachment. It works really well, although not as good as the big as the big graders, the newer ones. But you're gonna see lots of these and and the, uh, you'll see them out in the marketplace and they're used for maybe four or five, six thousand dollars. And for that price it, it does a really good job on all of your roads. All kinds of genius controls for different attachments such as these graders on our website, skidsteergenius.com.